Okay, so this is the OCR Additional Maths 2023 paper. Um, before you watch the solutions, make sure you've had a go at every question. I'm going to go through each question one by one. Okay, here's question one. So find the term independent of x in the expansion of this binomial. If you're not very confident with binomial expansion, this is quite a difficult question, so you should probably watch video 24 from my channel before having a look at this solution, okay? Because I'm gonna assume you have certain knowledge that you need to be able to answer this. So if I want the independent term of x in this expansion, I want the term that is effectively a constant, okay? So the independent of x is a constant. It has no x to the power of anything on it, it's just a number. So like seven would be a term independent of x because it doesn't depend upon the value of x. But it looks like I can't get that from this because both of these terms are dependent upon x. So what I need is to be able to, in the expansion, get one term which the combination of these powers of x eliminates any power of x. And I can get that because this is an x to the power of 1 and this is an effect 2 over x, which is 2x to the power of negative 1. And if I multiply them together, they will become just 2. Because x to the power of 1 multiplied by 2 over x becomes just 2x to the power of 0, or 2. However, I can't just multiply them together because I have six brackets in a row, so I need to choose six terms to multiply together from the six brackets, one from each of the six brackets. So I need to have a combination of these and a combination of these such that they would cancel each other out. Since this is x to the power of 1 and this is x to the power of negative 1, I need the same amount of each of those. And so from the six brackets, I need three of these and three of those. So I'm going to do x to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 over x also to the power of 3. I'm choosing three of these and three of these from the six brackets. Now, that could happen in a multiple number of ways. That could happen, in effect, in six choose three number of ways. Because from the six brackets, I want to choose the x three times. And I could have chosen that x from the first three brackets and then the two over x from the next three brackets. But I could have also chosen this x from the last three brackets and this two over x from the first three brackets. And then there are various other combinations of ways I could choose these from the six brackets. In fact, in fact, I can choose them 20 times because 6 choose 3 is 20. 20 multiplied by x to the power of 3 is x cubed. 2 over x to the power of 3 is 2 over x multiplied by 2 over x multiplied by 2 over x. So that becomes 8 over x cubed. And then when I multiply those together, what I get is 160 is the x cubed and the divide by x cubed, or the x cubed and the x to the negative 3 in effect, multiply to make x to the power of 0, and therefore I have a term independent of x, which is just 20 times 8, which is 160. And there is my answer.